most of your problems could be solved. Where do I get not, where do I get an Islamic woman? You, you must become a Muslim yourself first, my friend. Mm. And and being a Muslim is not easy. There's a lot to learn. It's a long journey. Even I'm not a scholar. I'm learning. You know, most of the problems you're facing currently with women can be solved by Islam. Really? You know, if you got yourself a nice Islamic wife, she wouldn't cheat on you. She'd cook for you. She'd look after you. She wouldn't have an OnlyFans. You know, most of the problems you're facing currently with women can be solved by Islam. Really? I just told you why. Wait, they actually she, don't she'd cheat? Have, she'd have decency. She'd cover up. She'd be God-fearing. If she miss, Her family would also keep an eye on her, so her family would tell her to obey her husband. She'd want your children. She'd look after you. Islamic women are the best. They understand that the best way to serve God is to also serve their husbands. Where do I get one at? So most of your problems could be solved. Where do, I get, not, where do I get an Islamic woman at? You must become a Muslim yourself first, my friend. Mm. And, and being a Muslim is not easy. There's a lot to learn. It's a long journey. Even I'm not a scholar. I'm learning. There's a lot to learn about how it works and the true word of God and the Quran and learning Arabic, etc. is not easy. But if you come to Dubai, you can begin the journey and you can talk to the same people I've talked to. And then halas, you get yourself an Islamic wife, and before you know it, you get to live in peace and happiness without worrying about getting plowed on an OnlyFans account. But you have to understand that the worldly goods, the worldly things that people find interesting, I'm totally and utterly beyond. I don't care about money. I have too much of it. I don't need fame. I have enough of that. I don't want hoes. I don't want sex with random women. I don't want clubs. I don't want restaurants. All of that is boring to me. The only thing that I find interesting is genuinely trying to save humanity by combating the matrix and opening up minds to be freed and worshiping God and God blessing me and favoring me and trying to become the best version of myself. All that shit is not interesting to me. So everything in Miami is just, it's, it's repulsive. There's nothing in Miami for me. Does that make sense? If you went to Miami and you didn't want sluts, didn't want drugs and didn't want to go to restaurants and clubs, why are you in Miami? It's, I, I, there's nothing there. It's just degenerate godlessness. I don't like it. I hope you understand me. I'll do my best for you, but I don't like it. I, like, I'm here in Dubai. It's beautiful. The mosque is close by. I've got very important work to do. I'm going to go to a center of disabled children and donate $100,000 tomorrow. Oh. I'm going to look after them. I'm, I, I have things to do which are good for me and good for the world. I, I don't see what I can do in Miami. What, I can go to the club and be famous and stand with rappers and some girl who everyone's... I could do that. I could put my dick in number 82. Yeehaw, I win. Look what I did. I'm such a cool guy. Look, I banged this girl just because she has fake. It's, it's vapious. It's empty. I don't want to do any of these things, Aiden. I don't want to go. You have to understand. I, I don't need to so do what, any can I ask you a question? What's the, what is the meaning of life then, bro? Like, what, 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 what are we here for? Once you realize that hedonism is a black hole, and that you can pour endless attempts at filling it. You can endless girls. There's always a new one to f you can make endless money. There's always new money to make. Hedonism is a black hole. And if you're going to live that way, you're never going to feel satisfied. You have to genuinely decipher, be perspicacious enough to look around you and work out what you think the world needs. And then try your very best to fulfill God's will to make the world a better place. You know what makes me happy? Wow. I'll tell you. I love, I'll walk down the street and I'll, I'll see a, a construction worker here in Dubai who's working for $300 a month and I'll just hand him a couple thousand dirhams at random. I like walking into the Starbucks and just paying for everyone's drink, just putting down for $500 oh. a day and get your coffee. I like, I, like, I like rescuing the dogs in Romania. I have a charity that rescues dogs in Romania. I like, I like doing things that make me feel good inside because I know it pleases God. I, I will not, if I go to the club in Miami... Top G, top G, top G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's, everyone says I'm top G. I get some girl. She's really hot. Okay, fine. I f*** her. But what, I, unless we make a family one day, there was no point in any of it. It's just degenerate. It's and to make a list. family with a girl from Miami, to make a family with a girl from Miami is hard because they don't know how to be mothers anymore. They don't know how to be a good, soft mother and look after the child and look after their man because they're so broken people. Who's the best? Who's the best? So why would I do that? I don't want where, where do you, to do that. Where do you find a good mother? Well, a good mother needs to be a woman who understands that her feminine imperative and her duty is to be a mother. That's her duty to fe femininity as a whole. It's the most important and beautiful thing a woman can do is be a mother. But a girl who reluctantly becomes a mother 
or thinks that her career or going to the club or hanging out with her friends is just as important as being a mother is never going to be good at it. You're only good at the things you respect.